I love snakes because they're an underdog. They are misunderstood. There's almost no other animal that people will go out of their way to harm or even try to remove besides snakes. It is snake season. It's snakes are cold-blooded, so um, they're gonna come out and help regulate their body temperatures by soaking up the sun. But this is, of course, when people are most likely to come across snakes. If you're a gardener or if you have a rodent problem in your house, snakes are gonna be the most natural and easiest way to get rid of those animals. So we really want to be thankful when we see snakes in our yard. No snake is ever gonna go out of its way to harm or bite you. People often put themselves in more danger by trying to handle, remove, or kill a snake. Uh, statistically, those are the easiest ways and the, the most frequent ways people actually get bitten. Okay, I'll demonstrate all you need to do when you come across a snake in the wild. The really easy thing about snakes in Virginia is there's just over 30 species and subspecies of snakes, um, only three of which are venomous. The northern cottonmouth, the eastern copperhead, and the timber rattlesnake. You know, if you can't uh, for sure say that something is venomous or non-venomous, then even more reason to not try to handle it or mess with it. If it's in an area where it's not supposed to be, like your house, it'll most likely move along on its own in a short time. Um, you can also give a very gentle spritz of a hose or a water bottle to encourage it to move along if you need to get it out of the way sooner rather than later. Um, but either way, we don't want anyone trying to handle or remove or especially kill snakes. You know, when I was younger, I had sort of an irrational fear of snakes. But out of that sort of fear came a curiosity. And from that curiosity, I started to educate myself how to properly identify snakes. Um, and then my fascination kind of just grew from there. I think snakes are a great reminder of how we should continue to retrain our brains as people to realize that a lot of our fears about certain wild animals are pretty irrational if you think about it. You know, it's okay to be scared of an animal if you just don't know enough about it, but I think that's even more reason for you to try to educate yourself on the benefits of these animals and why they should be respected and left alone.